frickin' miserable outside. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, I'm sorry for the background noise. Uh, we don't have air conditioning in the shop yet and it's just frickin' miserable outside. <clears throat> uh, but enough about me. Last video for the Martin X series, triple O. Now, uh, I had some uh, double-sided adhesive that I thought was going to work. Turns out it wasn't going to work. There is a, there's a little recess in this, uh, in this plastic mounting plate and this was not um, thick enough to really securely adhere to both the mounting plate and the back of the soundboard. So we're going to move on to uh, some, ooh, apparently this adhesive is so strong they've put red backing uh, on it. This is the this is the heavy duty uh, 3M, or sorry, this is a Scotch brand, Extreme Mounting Tape. Um, so we're going to cut this out, trim it to size, and get it onto this little mounting plate, and then we will get it back onto the guitar in said position. Um, I have uh, completed getting this back uh, glued on. Um, I just took a couple of still shots on it because, you know, it's just, just gluing the crap on. Um, the, the tough part was trying to get uh, the seams all matched up uh, because of some damage. There's one section that's got it's got a tiny bit of a divot. I, I can't do anything about that. Um, and then we've got one section where it went a little wide and um, it left me a little bit of a crevasse. So what I was able to use was this uh, Stumac black super glue. And I was able to fill in uh, uh, those two areas. And then I went back in with my super duper high tech uh, leveling tool, um, which you can't find at the moment, but it looks suspiciously like, oh yes, a razor blade. And then uh, we just kept shaving the corners down until it looked good. Um, Martin has an edge on me, uh, is they, um, had a perfect mold to put this in and then they have a dimension just right where they can come in with a router and just uh, chamfer that edge uh, whereas we had to kind of just make do with uh, whatever we could find and match it after it had been used as a weapon. So we're going to get that on. This is, I guess I can pull this up, there we go. Um, we have got this sanded um, as flat as flat as it's going to get without doing any sort of damage to the surface here. The owner um, is a retired painter and feels that he can finish this and he would like to do that and I am more than willing to let him tackle that job of this spruce top. It's got this kind of matte finish to it. I don't, I don't know what it is um, and so I'm, I'm glad I'm not going to have to mess with it. There is one little, there's a chip right there. Um, where it just a little tiny sliver of it came out. I asked him about it. I said, do you want me to tackle it and fill it for you? And he said, no. He said, I can do it. It's no big deal. So again, happy to hand them off, uh, you know, hand that off to them because um, honestly, that gets, uh, you get a little skin in the game that way. You are trying to do something um, with an instrument. Now, what we are going to do, this instrument didn't come with strings. Um, I'm going to put a set of Martin, those 92.8, phosphor bronze strings on there. Um, I, in my little town, I couldn't find a set of 12s. I'm going to put 11s on there. I know that's a little lighter than, than what they came with, but it's the way it's going to go. I'm also going to polish these up. This guitar, as far as I know, 
was never even played. Um, and yet these, you know, so these are all tarnished up. I don't know how long it sat in a box in a warehouse somewhere after whoever the delivery person was um, had his pet elephant sit on it. So um, we'll polish these up and then we'll get the guitar cleaned up and then we will put some strings on it and then we're just gonna put it in a box and get it out of here. So stand by for that. Well, here we go. Strung up, tuned, stretched. Not bad. Well, this might be interesting. You got the mic right there. this hand. Um, yeah, sounds all right. Considering what it looked like before, um, we'll put a real quick before shot right there. That's what it came in looking like. We re-glued braces. We replaced kerfing um, up along this area right here. Almost this entire side, we replaced the kerfing on it. And um, then glued it the top back together. Got this approximated. There's cleats here. There's like a couple of cleats there as well. Um, just because that's the way it was busted. And then we put the back back on. An interesting experience because, um, again, this is high pressure laminate for mica uh, as well, uh, melamine uh, is what a lot of people will call it. The fingerboard is rich light. Um, I think micarta is the other word for it. It's phenolic resin, basically. Um, the nice part is you don't have to oil them. Um, you know, you just clean them off. I polished the frets. I haven't done anything as far as, other than putting strings on setup. I did put a little bit of graphite in the nut. It's a Corian nut, um, you know, and it works. So anyways, believe it or not, it's going back on Saturday. The owner happens to be in town for some sort of a convention over the weekend. We're going to bring it to him and it'll be done. The Martin Triple O X1AE solid spruce top, laminated neck. HPL sides and back. I don't know what that is. I don't know if the I don't know if the bridge is rich light as well. If you know, throw it down in the comments beneath the sermon notes. Um, I'm sure we'd like to know. I think the retail on these is seven seventy nine. Uh, street price is five five and a half. I don't know if they've held that street price or not. I mean, you guys who buy and sell this stuff like crazy would know it better than I would. Um, but anyways, this was purchased from a uh, uh, from a company that sells merchandise that's damaged in shipping. Um, so it was paid for pennies on the dollar. And uh, he'll get a screaming deal out of me as far as um, what I'm charging him to get it repaired for. So anyways, if you're looking to experiment, if you're looking to get your feet wet, um, you know, keep your eye out. Buy a busted up guitar. What's the worst thing you could do? Fix the stupid thing? Uh, and if it's not fixable, guess what? Parts. You could maybe uh, separate this, uh, this fingerboard 
uh, with the frets installed uh, on it if you needed to. You could salvage the nut, you could salvage the bridge, you could salvage, I mean, all of this top, this spruce, you could use this for um, guitar top repairs. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do with these busted up guitars if you can't fix them. And if you spend, you know, not a whole lot of money on it and you, you take a shot at getting it fixed and it doesn't work, tear it apart and do it again. Who cares? Do not let the cork sniffer guitar people of this world um, talk to you like you're stupid. Uh, a question why you would be trying to fix a guitar of this ilk or that ilk um, because your answer is because I'm trying to figure something out I'm trying to learn something I'm trying to educate myself and move on about your business anyways I'm James you guys have a great weekend um, I think we're gonna do something back there oh you can't even see it well you can see the neck that's the Lazarus 12 string. I think we're going to start working on the neck on that next. Maybe. Anyways, you guys have a good weekend. Cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.